Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing on GameCube or Animal Crossing Population Growing as you may know it as. And we have finally caught up in real time. It is Wednesday in game, it is Wednesday in real life. So thank you so much for being here with me today. And because we've caught up, I did just jump forward to days and go and collect all the flowers and the saplings so we can do some gardening or landscaping or whatever you call it in this game uh basic like the little designing we can do a uh, limited to doing outside anyway so yeah appreciate you being here we're gonna go ahead and do that today but it's nice just to be caught up again because i don't like getting um away in real time the only thing you missed was me buying the flowers and i tracked down the golden spots so we could uh plant some tr uh golden trees and also I did find Gulliver on the beach, so we do have the Arc de Triomphe as well now. Uh, but that's the only thing you missed. I just did um, flower purchasing, I did beach runs, and hunted down the glowing spot on the days that we missed to get back to real time. So you can just see, uh, it's quite dark in here. You can just see, this is what we got off Gulliver. Uh, if I can pull it out, there we go. Arc de Triomphe, pretty cool, it's so noisy in here, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so we're all caught up to date, which is really nice. Uh, today we probably just focus on the usual chores. There's not too many things we need to do. They're they're kind of grander milestones now. Um, do we have any more? Sho I might have to grab a shovel out of here. I don't know if it will grow next to the house. Is the only thing. Uh, store an item. Let's try it. So grab it. One of our spare shovels. Thank you, Gyroid. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll grow here, but we're going to try anyway. But yeah, today, there's, I don't think there's any events on or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and do the usual stuff and just enjoy the game for what it is. I can't imagine it's going to grow here. But you never know, maybe it will grow small and stunt. Um, right, let's go ahead and let's just see if anyone's at the plaza. I don't think they will be. Uh, but I think we could probably get straight on with doing our flowers. Yep, no one's here. Wait a minute, I thought I heard someone. Oh, it's Ellie, hey! I'm finally out of your house! Good morning! Oh, whoops, I guess it's kind of late to be saying that, isn't it? Yeah, it's past lunchtime. Uh, you know, it's times like these that make me think the whole greeting thing is difficult. So, what can I do for you, we won? I've noticed we don't change their catchphrases in this game. Uh, can I help you out at all? Let's see here. Nope, can't really think of anything at the moment. Oh, well, I guess maybe a ball would help relieve my boredom, we won. Oh, a ball. The ball uh, quest. Okay, we're gonna have to try and track down the football. If we can. I guess we'll just have to go about our business, and if we stumble across the ball, we'll bring it back to um, Ellie. But yeah, everything's looking pretty good. There's a few weeds around here. We might write some letters today because... Oh, here's a dig spot. I really want to get some more of the fruit. Oh, it's a gyroid. And I don't know whether to... <gasps> wow! A rainbow in the waterfall! What? Did I know this was a thing? Oh my, that looks so nice. We must have seen this before. I don't really remember it though. Definitely not this bright. That looks amazing. I didn't know you could get ra uh, rainbows in the waterfalls. I'm sure I didn't. It kind of vaguely rings a bell. I don't know, but I'm so happy to have it. Maybe we maybe we did see one in our last Let's Play. I. How cool is that? Is that going to stay here? 1.19 p.m. Is it an hourly thing? Is it going to go away if we... That is so nice. Let's do some fishing. Um, just so we can appreciate the rainbow. Look at that. That is so cool. Thinking about it. It must have been City Folk, I think, that we've seen it in. Possibly. Because... Yeah, I'm not sure we've seen it in, in population growing before. If we have, it totally slipped my mind, but the more I look at it, the more it does seem familiar. Even though I can't really recall the memory of seeing it, so it might have been in City Folk. 
if you know, <laughs> let me know. Um, put my brain at ease. But how beautiful is that? I love the subtle details like this. Sorry, we're not actually fishing. I was just kind of admiring it. Is there one on the other one? Oh, let's go and see if there's one on the other one. Oh, there's one on the other one as well. A double rainbow. Let's go check it out. How cool is that? So, that's got to be a rare phenomena. Because, how many towns have two waterfalls? We've got two because we've got three tiers. That's the only reason we have two water, uh, two rainbows. That is so nice. What a nice detail. I love stuff like this. It's so cool. It's just really pretty. This game is so special. I can't even express how wonderful it is stuff like this is. Anyway, hey Sandy, we're getting a little bit distracted here. Good morning. Oops, it's kind of late to be saying that. Yes, it is the afternoon. We have established that. I don't know if it must have been raining this morning or maybe yesterday. I don't know if it's an all day thing, by the way, with these rainbows. I might have to look it up. I, I don't think even I've seen that in a guidebook. Mori, I was wondering, are you a member of the Happy Room Academy? Yes. That's great. A lot of people uh, are too intimidated to submit those to those inspections. I mean, it can be pretty stressful having your house evaluated so often, but here's a tip on how to make it easier on yourself. Now, for instance, you shouldn't just leave your junk lying around on your floor. Even if your room is full of gorgeous furniture, your, fur uh, your room will still look a total mess. So you better go home and clean up your room, Speedy. Yeah, well, don't go in our basement then because... That is a mess. Oh wow, rainbows on the waterfalls and a double one at that. So cool. Those are the details I like about all the Animal Crossing games. But yeah, it's definitely, rainbows definitely not in the guidebook. I've read that guidebook cover to cover multiple times. I'm starting to think it was a city folk. We must have seen it in city folk. I might be wrong. Sometimes the, all the Animal Crossing games just blur together. Right, we better buy another, sho another shovel. We've only got one left in our little backlog of shovels. The golden spots. We do want the whole town to be golden trees. We should have called our town golden. In preparation for what it will one day become. Hopefully. How much space we got here? Uh, we've got loads of space. Okay, cool. Let's put our thing back. That's so cool. Um, oh. We'll keep our shovel out because there's probably more gyros. If there's one gyroid, there's going to be more gyros about. That is so cool. I don't think many people would get overly excited over a rainbow in a video game, but... It's just so nice. It's like the shooting stars in the lake and just su subtle details that they didn't need to put in. Oh, we've got a bus stop. Oh, nice, a bonsai. Oh, a lime chair. Is that lime? Grass pattern again. Um, okay, finally some normal furniture. Right, let's buy up some of this stuff so we can get the tickets. The lime chair, yes, that's a green item, but we get... Our, t our house is looking crazy. We get... Uh, a vast mixture of things. Um, bus stop's pretty cool. I don't know why we would have it though. I don't think that's a special feng shui item. I know some of the sign, uh, sorry, the or orange items, some of the road signs are, but not the bus stop it looks like. But we'll buy it anyway just to catalogue it. Um, and get the raffle ticket, of course. Bonsai, what one is this? A jasmine bonsai. I wonder if that's a red. Uh, oh no, two of the a plum bonsai and a quince bonsai is, but not a jasmine. Interesting. The no, I can't see it. Oh, jasmine bonsai. It's a green. It's a green item. That will go well in our upstairs zen area. I'm really happy with our upstairs, by the way. The downstairs, not so much. Lime chair, I don't think I want to put that in our house. We've got too much going on. Bus stop can go... Right, 
Right, we're going to buy some actual furniture. And I quite like this little clock as well. I don't think that's a, a feng shui item at all. Um, it would be green. Is it green? It's such a struggle being colorblind and trying to figure out feng shui. Um, yeah, I don't see it on the list, but we're going to buy it anyway because it's quite a cute little clock. And it's quite nice to have a clock inside the house. I mean, we're going to have space outside of the feng shui stuff anyway, hopefully. Um, right. Do, actually, do you know what? We could probably send it to some villagers. We want to write some letters today, actually. That's what I want to do. I'm going to tell all the villagers to go and check out the rainbows. There's probably some paper in the dump. So we'll check the dump before uh, buying some paper. Um... Right, let's worry about the saplings later. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> right, let's try and keep tidy pockets. I'm going to put the spare shovel in here. Hey, welcome home, Maury. Just want to store another shovel for our glow spots. Right, we're going to put some stuff down here. So the cabin table. And the glow clock can go here. Because we'll, we'll send them in some letters to some villagers. Try and get some more fruit and other items. It might be a good way of getting some uh, actual furniture furniture items. Right, what are we going to do here? Can we put anything on top of this barrel? This would be so cool if this was a table. No, we can't. Um... Let me try and work out how to rearrange these. Um, there we go. Yeah, this item here is a special item, so that can go. It doesn't have to be in the green area. Um, so everything else is playing a part, pretty much, apart from these items. That's a Gulliver item, so that could be worth HRA points anyway. Um, we could do with some more rocks. Oh yes, we've got some tickets that we get rid of. I'm so distracted, I just keep thinking about that rainbow. What a nice, lovely detail. Oops. Just picked up the painting. Okay, that's our house. We're going to have to do something about our downstairs. But I want some actual furniture furniture. I, I always do this, I kind of lean towards the furniture furniture. Because it just looks cool, and otherwise it looks really messy. The only exception is our upstairs zen area. But anyway, oh, I didn't put the gyro down there. We'll go and drop the gyro. We need as many as much pocket space as possible for the flowers. Um, yeah, we might have to take these to the island. Any duplicates that we can see? No, I can't see any. Look at that one in the middle going crazy. Uh, oh, there is a duplicate. Just behind, two behind the work uniform. So we can get rid of him. I don't see any other duplicates. Oh, wait, is this one a duplicate in the corner here? This one's a duplicate. Uh, three behind the N. Any other duplicates? I think that's... It's hard to tell at a quick glance. I think that's... All of them. Right, we can sell these two duplicate gyros or send them to villagers. Maybe I don't know if the if the villagers will appreciate uh, receiving gyroids. Right, let's grab all these flowers. We're working on our flower hill. I wonder if that rainbow stays for the whole hour. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got 15 flowers. Let's go check on the rainbow again. Oh, it's fading. That's definitely fading, isn't it? We were so lucky to see that. That must have, it must have peaked at like, 1, 1 p.m. 
Right, let's go to our flower hill. This is what we're working on the most at the moment. Um, hopefully we've got some pansies in here. Tulip, cosmos, cosmos, tulip, cosmos. Pansy. There we go. Pansy. It's going to be hard to know if this is on the right tile or not. Cosmos, tulip, cosmos, cosmos, tulip. Pansy Cosmos Pansy There we go We probably need one more I think here And that's the corner of the hill uh, So we've got Tulip Let's move these down here a little bit Cosmos Cosmos Tulip If we arrange them first I like to arrange them so I know where they are And then we can just go ahead and just throw them all down Tulip Cosmos, Cosmos, Tulip. Right, we're going to head to the other side, the other ramp. We're putting the tulips on, making our pathway there. Ah, uh, it's definitely fading. How lucky were we? We're going to have to, after it rains or something, we're going to have to check on the hour, I think, for a bright rainbow. So here we're going to start uh, extending out the path's going to come here and then along here. Oops. Need to plant these things, not drop them. There we go. So that's going to be the path and then it will come across here and then down here. So we avoid this. We've got to fill this area here with tulips as well. I wonder if we have a visitor today. Can't really see. Just, just see the rainbow there. Nice. So on three tier towns you get double rainbow. Oh yeah, it's nearly gone. What a shame. Oh, our trees are growing that we planted though. Trying to get our perfect town. That's something I'm going to work on like every other day. Wait, did these ones grow as well? Yeah, double trees. They grew. Uh, yeah, I don't want to work on the perfect town status every day because it's just going to take over. Uh, what are we doing? Cosmos. Um, I wonder if we should start doing something along here with the cosmos. It's gonna come. This is a wide one, so we're gonna have a row of tulips coming down here, probably. Um, hide one behind here. There we go. Sort of. Yeah. I think that would go here. Like so. So the path's going to kind of come through here. We can't do much about the bush. Yeah, that's okay, I think. Get some cosmos over this area. Right, let's go and speak with Copper. He might have an idea if someone's around town. But we will go ahead and check the dump because I want to grab some stationery, write some letters. <laughs> Tall buzzoid. Good day to you! Well, aren't we a busy little bee? Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? Uh, you ask about goings on. Well, on June 21st, the police station will be running... Oh, what's that? That's Friday. Oh, we missed Gracie, I think. Wasn't she supposed to come on the 18th? Oh, well, Gracie's going to be here on Friday, then. Ah, oh, there's some paper in here. What's this paper? 
Oh. Octopus paper. Oops. Yeah, I do want to take that, actually. That is mine. My mistake. Took me a while to realize that it was mine to recognize it, but I swear that is mine, Booker. 100%. Not lying at all. Uh, that's a stately wall. And we've got here a pop bloom shirt. Yeah, we could go for a new shirt, probably. Oh, this is the weird one that looks like fireworks. It looks like a bit, like, almost like a tie-dye as well. Um, we'll run up to the post office and dump. See if there's any more paper in there, because we might be able to send some fossils as well. Oh, we haven't found the ball yet, have we? Got well distracted by the, uh, the rainbow. Has anybody seen the ball? Oh, this tree fully grew next to Pippi's house. Alright, Ellie, we're doing our best to look for the ball. Maybe it's in the dump. Another gyroid, tall harmonoid. Sometimes I think the ball can be hiding behind like people's houses. This looks so good, doesn't it? Flowery Hill. Hey Hugh, did you come and see the rainbow look? Oh, it's nearly gone. Yeah, it must appear at one o'clock for like five minutes or ten minutes and then slowly fade. Unless it gets stronger at like quarter to one and then peaks at one maybe. If anyone knows the details of uh, rainbows, like the conditions and everything, let me know. I'd be really interested to know. Right, I'm not sure where the ball is. We might have to let uh, Ellie down. This was the other tree that I planted catching up in real time. This one and this one. And then this was today's. <laughs> I can't believe this one's grown actually in front of the post office. I almost didn't plant it. Ah, here's the ball. Oh, wait, we've got some stuff in here. Oh, we've got loads of stuff in here. What's this? A glow clock. <laughs> we just bought a glow clock. A blue wardrobe. Nice. And paper parasol. Do you know what? I'm going to send, send these to the villagers. You are here. What's this one? Oh, it's an, <laughs> an arrow shirt. Okay, we're raiding the dump. Right, we're going to try and get this ball to... Ellie. And then we can focus on making writing some letters. I think we can just kick it down. You don't want to play football, Hopper? Hey! We were going to do that anyway. He saved us a job. He did what we couldn't. He did what we were too scared to do. Let's go and grab it. Oh, is it this way? Right, so we've just got to get it to the plaza. So luckily we haven't got to get it up any ramps. That is the down... The only, only downside, if you can call it a downside, to uh, three-tier towns. Hey, it's a ball! Yeah, you want to play? Hello! So tell me, Maury, what did you want? Uh, here's the ball. Are you just going to ignore me now? We went out of our way to find it all day? Thank you so much for going to all this trouble. It means a lot. This will help me pass the time. I'm sure we won. I might be overdoing it, but please accept this token of my appreciation. How about this blue flooring? Personally, I think it's pretty nice. Actually, I, I quite like that. I, I do like the blue furniture, actually. But it's just not feng shuiable. Right, well, enjoy your football. Um, we do have a blue item as well, don't we? Blue wardrobe. Maybe we should be thinking about the blue, blue furniture. Um, I mean. 
mean, it's pretty nice, isn't it? It's just not feng shuiable. It will, maybe we'll we'll put the uh, we'll take out the pitfall and put the other Sahara item in here. This is the Sahara's desert, which is cool. And we also have blue wardrobe, which uh, let's tidy up and put the pitfall and the diary away. Uh, diary and pitfall there we go and I think we can sell these shirts and umbrellas oh yes the glow clock right let's go and check to see if we need these gyroids Um, a tool buzzoid. No, we definitely don't have that. Listen to the noise it's making. A tool harmonoid. No, that's new as well. Okay. Yeah, not sure what to do with them, but we'll just keep them down here until we decide. There's no rush to decide. Um, but we've got two three blue furniture items now so the room is looking okay um it's just really hard to have a nice looking natural room and do feng shui as well i'm wondering if we should move some of these things upstairs um it just looks so good i don't want to mess it up by adding things but there's so much space to do the feng shui like for example we could move the sunflowers upstairs. I don't know if that would look weird in this room. Oh, it doesn't look too bad actually. Yeah, we can live with that. Freeze up a bit of space down here and gets rid of some clutter. Um, anyway, we're supposed to be writing villager letters. Getting distracted. Um, was one of these the glow clocks? So we've got two glow clocks. Right, let's write some letters. Um, we'll have to do four at a time. Let's write to Dozer. He's my favourite at the moment. Um, to Dozer. Um, I'm just going to put there's a rainbow i'm terrible for wanting to capitalize words as well there's a rainbow at the waterfalls i'll just put waterfall um, there's a rainbow of the waterfall and also we're going to give Dozer a glow clock um, we'll write to Sandy um, to Sandy we're going to keep it all about the rainbows did you See the rainbow. <laughs> and Sandy can have, I think, a glow clock as well. Right, obviously, we have to do tangy. Uh, we're going to put wow there are rainbows um, rainbows uh, let's put Mori Lane uh, 
Uh, wow, there are rainbows in Mori Lane. And Tangy can have... I suppose Tangy can have the table. And we're going to write to Hugh as well, I think. Um... Did you see the rainbow today? I, I think we'll add. Did you see the rainbow today? And <laughs> we'll give Hugh a parasol. Hey, Pelly. Yeah, so thanks for the good idea, by the way, putting the gyroids in the post office storage. That could definitely be something that we could do. Um, there is potentially 127 that we need to store if we don't want to sell stuff that's the thing but it might be just as easy to drop them around town I don't know if they're gonna count as trash items though actually you may as well send this off to the museum as well there we go, Pelly. The last final letter probably for today. So we wrote four letters to villagers, sent off an extra one to the museum. Uh, we're speaking... Oh, hey, Pete! Speaking of museum, we should probably check our mail. I'm not expecting to get anything really. Uh, Ocean Dwarny Plesiosaur, Stegosaurus Torso! And the T-Rex Skull, nice. Uh, we've got Tom Nook, uh, Stunning Phonograph, that must be an old one from getting up to date. Uh, oh yeah, Grizzly left. So much mail! So we should have the, if I read that correctly, the Stego Torso. Uh, from home, my dear Maury, try not to take this the wrong way, hun, but you've always been a bit slow. Which is fine, but that's why you should always take things at your own pace. Slow and steady wins! Uh, uh, torso of a Plesiosaurus, we've got a rare Stegosaurus torso again, and a Trilobite. Um, yeah, our HRA is not doing great. Okay, so we've got a Stego torso, T Rex skull. Stego torso, that's crazy. We could have done with the Stego uh, skull as well. Trilobite and a Plesio neck. So yeah, Stego torso is the only one we need to donate, I think. Ellie's not even used the ball. We went out of our way to find that ball. Is that a weed there behind the tree? No. Okay, so yeah, Stego Torso we definitely, definitely need. There we go, Blaz. We have a Stego Torso. So close to completing the fossils. And then it will just be, I mean, it already is a good earner, but even when the museum is finished, it'll be a good earner to just get the... Uh, Fossils appraised so we can sell them. So this must be the Plesio neck, is it? 
No, Apapto. Plessio, there we go. So we, we've already got the Plessio neck, which is what we had, isn't it? Plessio torso, trilobite, Plessio neck. Oh, Plessio torso and a Plessio neck. T-Rex skull. And the Stego torso. Here we go, there's the Stego torso. So we just need the Stego skull and a left, or whichever way around it is, the wing. What one's this one? Left wing. So we need the right wing and the skull. Nice. Okay, right. So we can sell pretty much everything else, can't we? Okay, I quite like how our town is coming along. You're not going to play with the ball! Some of the villagers uh, do run and chase after the ball. I guess Ellie's not in the mood. I should probably check the bulletin board as well. My headphone is uh, itching my ear. <laughs> if you can hear me squeaking, it's because I have to keep taking my headphone off, so sorry about that. Um, right, I'd like to sell, please, Tom Nook. We didn't buy any, because we're playing catch up, we didn't buy any uh, turnips this week. So I do wonder if we should check the turnip price just out of curiosity. What? Today I'm buying turnips at 728 bells per turnip on a Wednesday. <gasps> That's got to be because of our feng shui. We don't have any turnips to sell. No. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's buy the signboard. Oh, what a price to lose out on. We've had three big turnip prices now. 100% like that would never happen as a hundred percent because of our feng shui and we've got the green feng shui as well, which is um, I think for wealth in the game Right our trees must be fully grown over here by now as well Yeah, so that's a nice sight finally getting some fruit trees to harvest Right, oh, a weed over here. Oh yeah, that's right, we can't put, <laughs> we can't put one there. And the fossils. As well try and track down the money rock. But it doesn't seem to be any visitors today. So, oh, this tree grew here, which is useful. Uh, it's going to help us hit this rock, hopefully. Nope. But yeah, I'm liking how our house is coming along as well. And we're starting to get the shape of some paths, which is the only real way we can really make paths in this game. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Trying to line myself up. <laughs> nope. Hey, Sandy. Oh. 
Oh no. Was it because I hit you with the shovel or did the rhino upset you? I don't feel like talking right now, Speedy. Sorry. Uh oh. Hey, Tank, you should probably get away from Sandy. Hey, how's it going? Everything going smoothly for you, Slushy? Oh, really? Great. That's music to my ears, Slushy. Seriously. Anywho, you probably want something, don't you? So what is it? Uh, just chatting. The rain tends to keep everyone inside during this time of year, but I almost forget there's a fishing tourney every weekend of this month, Slushy. And that means I'll be fishing every day. If you've got some time, you ought to take some time... Uh, to finally hone your fishing skills. Yeah, we don't want to. We want to do another fishing tourney, don't we? We don't want to miss another one. Oh, the rainbows have gone. Oh, that fish just jumped down the waterfall. <laughs> you get away from me, snake. It must be one of the rocks down by the beach. I think there's only a couple of rocks left. We're still hoping to have enough feng shui to get the last bell bag one day. We're gonna do it in one Animal Crossing game. But it's not going to be this one. Take a minute to get all these <laughs> in your wallet. I wish there was an option just to put in 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 wallets. There we go. Right. Yep, that tree's definitely stunted. Can't see any more dig spots. Oh yeah, we're gonna check the bulletin board, won't we? Grab our balloon. Uh, oh, who wants to play my little game? If you can find the pitfall I buried in one of the one acres. It's yours, but it may already be gone. Oh, one of the one acres. So it could be over by the dump. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be down the left-hand side of the map. Anyone see a pitfall? Oh, we might. I thought we would have stumbled across it as we were finding the fossils, but we didn't. going to be in this acre, I doubt. Oh, finally, Ellie's playing with the ball. Hey! <laughs> oh. One of the one acres. It's not going to be behind a house or something, is it? behind a tree there's a good chance we'll fall in it oh here it is must be on the beach sneaky nice we've got two pitfalls now they are rare in this game not as rare as the bloom presence though we've only seen one Go and put the pit pitfall in storage. 
Oh, I've got mail. Uh, something blue vase. Right, I'm gonna go ahead. Oops. And put it in here. It looks like we're collecting blue furniture. Um, add an item. There we go. Two pitfalls. Yeah, there's not a lot else we can do until we start getting some actual furniture items. We have we haven't hardly seen any green furniture items. Not many blue, not many regal. We've seen hardly none of the exotic stuff. Um, and there's all sorts of furniture. We haven't seen any kiddie furniture. A few fruit furnitures. We haven't seen any... Um, what's the other regal style one? I can't remember. There's loads of sets that we haven't seen though, which is really strange. Um... Yeah, at the end of the month when we get rid of our tickets... That will create some space and <laughs> the gyroids, my goodness. And we still need to try and get some more camping stuff from the campers at the weekend, but we'll have to wait until the weekend for that. Right, I'm going to go and shake the cherries off the trees. There's a bit of preparation. For when we want to do some more harvesting and planting but who knows maybe we'll get another piece of fruit from someone tomorrow from a letter I'm good, just gonna quickly speak to Kashmir as well because I quite like Kashmir hey why it's Maury how are you doing this fine day are you eating properly I'll have you know that I recently gave up on my diet yes I'm not ashamed though I mean honestly it's my own loss if I ruin my body right and besides I'm cute enough as I am you are cute, Kashmir. I'll give you that one. Uh, what's going on? So, is there a particular clothing designer you prefer? I wouldn't wear anything but Gracie's fashions, personally. How could I with my girlish figure, baby? <laughs> but the stupid store here doesn't even carry Gracie's label. Did you just call Tom Nook stupid? That Tom Nook is too cheap. Oh, wow. That t She's going in. That Tom Nook is too cheap to carry any real designer articles like that. You look surprised, but my dear, simply everyone knows that his goods are slightly low class. Oh, brutal. Oh, I'm so glad we spoke to you, Kashmir. Um, but there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Unfortunately, the waterfalls... Oh, no, Sandy's still angry. The waterfalls no longer have their rainbows, but that was a real treat to see. Um... And it was really nice, such a nice detail, reminds me so much why, not that I need reminding, but reminds me so much why I just love this game and Animal Crossing in general. Just the subtle details like that that some games just wouldn't even put in and to think that they included it and it's so rare to see but we encountered two of them because we have a three tier town double waterfall so that was really nice. Uh, but I hope you like just kind of wandering around town, sorting out the flowers, kind of finding fossils, doing the usual kind of chore daily chores in this game and slowly arranging our house and adding to the feng shui as well and clearly we've got a high turnip price we can't do anything with it because we don't have any turnips but there we go i hope you enjoyed it anyway thank you so much for watching um i really like just chill episodes like this so i hope you do too thank you so much for being here and a huge shout out to the channel members that make all this possible i hope you've enjoyed today i hope you enjoyed the episode and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day have an amazing time i'll see you in the next one bye